So for this next tutorial, we're going to be performing a segue from this interface controller to this next interface controller when a particular row is selected. Now, just like in iOS, uh, what do you mean? Go away. So just like in iOS, we can select this row controller and we can command, uh, sorry, control drag, and we can create a segue, either push or modal, from one interface controller to the other. I might use a modal interface control, uh, a modal segue. Now, just like with when we're performing a segue from uh, one interface controller to another on iOS, we can pass data between these two interface controllers in WatchKit. But it's a little bit different how it's done. So let me just create the interface. So the way we pass values between interface controllers in WatchKit is something is through something called a context. Now as you can see up here, you can see override function awake with context. This is the context we're talking about. It's a value, a um, variable sent to the interface controller by either the iOS, uh, either by the OS or by um, the last interface controller that's been, that's been segued to from. And um, it lets you send values between interface controllers um, like you would with the uh, two interface controller on iOS. Down here at the bottom, like we used in our last video where we um, had an overwrite function to detect row selects, we're going to have an overwrite function uh, called context for segue with identifier in table. So as you can see, there's one here that we just use for a segue, any segue, and then there's a second one down here which we use for selecting a table. There's two more. Uh, there's another set where you can send an array of any objects, and here you can just send a single any object. We're going to use this one. So what this gives us is it gives us the segue identifier, which we can define if we select our segue. If we select our segue, yep. So we can define our interface uh, our identifier up here. So we can have different segues, we can have different conditionals to handle each of those segues. Um, it also passes us our row index. Now if you remember, each index in our row represents one of these. Uh, before I go any further, I'll just show you I've moved our array of objects from within our awake of context to a higher level so we can access it from down here. So the way we um, send a context to our next interface controller is just by returning something. Uh, from this function. Of course we want, for this tutorial, we'll just return wherever our object is. Uh, for your application you might uh, return an identifier, you can return whatever you like. Row index, so we're getting our row. So what we're just going to return is the name of our particular object in here. Now we want to handle up, now we want to handle receiving that context. So I'm going to put a label in our second interface controller See there, label. And I've set up the interface controller file. Uh, connect our label to our and up here with awake of context, we're past our context from our last um, interface controller to this new interface controller. Configure interface objects here. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go label outlet dot set text don't want text color and we are going to use our context as string and what else does this one yep that's going to work so now we can run our app and see how this works force downcast so we just need a little exclamation point there yep that's going to go Actually, it wants a question mark. Okay. Now we can click here, and we get a modal interface, uh, modal segue saying something, something else, final something. As you can see, that's just how you can um, pass the current position in the array that you're uh, selecting to your next interface controller. Of course, you could use this for something more advanced by passing sort of IDs for something on a server or something in a 
um, data store, but this is a pretty simple example of how you can utilize this feature. Uh, the next video in this series will be covering, I believe, images. I hope to see you there.